So, hi everyone and welcome to today's literacy lesson on writing a description using expanded noun phrases. Now we're starting with a very simple sentence. This is Dave the Troll. Let's take a look at how to improve it using the describing Dave sheet. So, I'm going to choose a green hairy troll as my first expanded noun phrase that I will use in my description. So we can get all rid of that and replace it with, this is Dave, the green comma hairy troll. That's better. Now I'm gonna refer back to my sheet and I'm going to choose long pointed nose and messy tangled hair as my expanded noun phrases. His long pointed nose and messy tangled hair make him look a little scary. Now I could have stopped it there, but I'm going to add a little bit more detail. So I'm going to say, but he's really quite kind hearted. Look at that, we've got a compound adjective. Full stop at the end. Now here I am underlining my expanded noun phrases, so you can see just how many I've used to add detail to my writing. Now I'm going to move on to writing a little bit about what he's wearing. I'm going to start with around his neck he wears, and then have a look at my expanded noun phrases. And I'm going to choose a heavy, comma, bulky necklace because that's what I saw in the picture. Don't forget your comma. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to describing Dave's cave, the setting. And I'm going to start with a hidden gloomy cave as my chosen expanded noun phrase. He lives in a hidden gloomy cave in the middle of a, I'm gonna go back to my sheet, hmm, in the middle of a large oak forest. I'm going to choose as my expanded noun phrase. Now, can you spot the spelling mistake that I've made? I've forgotten a letter somewhere. That's right, it's the L from middle. It's not midder, it's middle. It's got an L sound in there. Silly Miss Stuart. Now I've decided I'm gonna move on and describe the inside of the cave as dark, damp and he's gonna be sleeping on a cold, hard stone because that's what my troll likes to do. Maybe yours will be different. But those are my choices of adjectives in my expanded noun phrases.
now you're going to use the spider di diagram that you were asked to make about Dave's dinner to finish off your description. So I decided to use plump, comma, juicy goats in the large, comma, surrounding forest because that's where I imagined Dave would hunt for his food. Then I'm going to go ahead and underline my expanded noun phrases just to show you how many I've used. I don't need you to do this on your work, but I'm just trying to show you that's how many I want to see in yours. And you might think I'm done, but I'm not. I want to add more detail. I got really excited about describing what Dave's life is like. So I thought I'll just add an extra little bit at the end. The slow silly goats are too easy to catch. So Dave always has a full comma satisfied belly full stop now if you really want to impress you could finish off with an exclamation sentence starting with what or how now i write lucky little dave exclamation mark but what i could have written was what a lucky little troll Dave is, because then I would have added an even better expanded noun phrase and it would have made much more sense. But hey, we live, learn and improve.